the concept of the garden works on several layers. I mean, overall, holiday inns want to be able to show a luxurious, warm, comfortable um, living area. Um, but what we've done is taken the concept of indoor-outdoor, making the most of your living space, making the most of your garden, and integrating the two to make one quite luxurious living space. This is a herb wall, which is the first time this has been done with herbs, actually. It's a fantastic idea that you can kind of crop your lunch on while you're on the move. But this is the kind of really fashionable thing at the moment and quite um, ecologically friendly and greening up indoor space. They're basically half-metre boxes with cells in, and you plant them up with what we call plugs, a couple of plants per plug. Um, and once that takes root, this is then put against the wall. So once you've got the rails up, it takes well, it took us probably half an hour to put that on. And I think this has worked really well. I'm really pleased with it. The pool with the glass floor over, which I think is a really exciting feature, actually. Um, it's great when you watch people walk over it. It's perfectly solid, but everybody tiptoes because, you know, it's a slightly dangerous. And you get this kind of impression that the boat, the boat, see, there we go, the bed is floating off. Well, it end up in the garden. And the, um, what they call a liquid crystal glass, which uh, is two layers of glass with uh, gas between. And when you put an electrical charge in, uh, it, it works like a magnet, basically, and the particles become very dense, so it's opaque. And then you release the charge and it becomes translucent again. You know, to just be able to do equivalent to kind of drawing your blinds, so you can have it on a timer or a manual switch. But a fantastic ability to get a clean line without curtains or, or blinds. Uh, and just to be able to open up the view. And because the pool links to outside as well and it's got a water chute outside, that helps to kind of bring the two together. It's a big space, so we're talking about, you know, you could entertain family here, so it's a nice, generous, simple space. The sound of the water, being able to see back into the bedroom gives a kind of extent of, almost like in the garden, you talk about a sense of mystery which you often don't get with the house. You know, it's kind of barrier, that's the house, this is the garden. But here, because of this glass, it kind of gives that really good connection. Lounger and tables to sit at to entertain, fantastic outdoor kitchen unit with fridge and barbecue, and big day beds, which, you know, you could fit four or five people on, which is really good fun. Angle poise lamps, which really you would associate with indoor furniture rather than outdoor furniture. And then the planting, I wanted a tropically, uh, jungly kind of feel to it. So I've used some more exotic plants with sort of flashes of bright red and uh, dark pink to give it that kind of frisson of travel. And we've, we've used the Holiday Inn Rose as well, which fits in really well and gives a nice splash of colour. I think one of the most um, important plants in the garden is the multi-stemmed cherries. This is a prunus, called a prunus cerula. Um, and it has the most beautiful, rich mahogany bar. And they have fantastic impacts. That lovely umbrella shape, I think, is uh, very embracing. We've got a vegetable area over here, and we've, I've tried to use some more interesting exotic vegetables. And I've got the vegetables because we've got the barbecue, so it's things you could use in the cooking. Again, in sense of travel, um, these Oh, agave attenuata at the base here, I think are fantastic plants. They give really good architecture. I, I think you can't probably get away without mentioning what we call the sprinklers, the stars, really, which are fantastic little orchids. I mean, the colour in these orchids, I think, is just fantastic. I mean, beautiful, sort of picks up the, you know, the real rich, dark ruby colour, the same as the, the stems of the cherry and this kind of green flower. Absolutely lovely little orchid. I was never a fan of orchids, but uh, like a lot of things, once you start looking at them in detail, you actually find they've got really nice attributes. The other thing I really like, and I think it's uh, important in terms of the overall living concept, these trees, they're carob trees, and they have the most fantastic black beans, which actually grow off the stems, and that's what they make the carob, which is the chocolate you see in health shops, and things that they use as an alternative. You know, people really feel comfortable somewhere if the space feels good, and then embellishing it is quite, quite easy to do. If the space is wrong, it feels uncomfortable. So I'm really pleased with this, with glass going through to the 
the garden is, yeah, it's really pleasing.